This looks like more than this is this is more than what you sent in the pictures, isn't it? Hey guys, today is Thursday, July 16th. I just finished up garage sealing. I got a bunch of stuff in the van. And I am now headed to meet my buddy Mike, who has some more video games and electronics to sell me. You guys might remember, it's been a week, maybe two weeks, that I bought all those other video games from him for 250 bucks. And he emailed me saying he has more. Mike watches the videos, so he saw where I was showing that most of them didn't work and he felt really bad. And I told him, I said, man, I said it in the video and I'll say it again, like, don't feel bad at all. It's not a big deal, you know, with, with this stuff, if it doesn't work, because I can sell it for parts. And I think, you know, Mike understands, and that's why, you know, he was trying to give me a good deal on the stuff, you know, just because he didn't know if it works kind of an as-is deal, and I'm fine with that. And with this stuff, it's kind of the same way, too. I think he might have tested some of the stuff if it powers on, but doesn't know if it'll play the games, and I'm like, that's, you know, that's all good. He originally threw me a price for this stuff of 50 bucks, but after looking at it, I'm like, no, let's just make it 75 bucks because I think there's still plenty of profit left for me to make, and I want to keep that relationship good. I want to keep buying from Mike, and I, you know, I want him to think of me whenever he's getting electronics and video games and that type of stuff that he doesn't really specialize in, and he needs to move it. So sometimes you just got to pay up a little bit and form a good relationship with somebody because it means more than just one deal, you know what I mean? Like, if you're just trying to get the best deal, you know, every single time on stuff, then it's gonna, it's gonna be really hard to get good business relationships with people that'll keep bringing you stuff. Appreciate you bringing the stuff. This looks like more than, this is, this is more than what you sent in the pictures, isn't it? Yeah, I threw some more stuff down here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, like I said, I found more next stuff. Throw it in here. Awesome. There you go. All right, buddy. Good I appreciate luck, it, Mike. Yeah, let me know if you get any more. Oh, I will. It always turns out. Man. Yeah. <laughs> See you, bud. All right, guys. I'm back at the warehouse. I'm going to pull all this stuff out and show you what $75 bought me. All right, there's a lot of stuff here. And right off the bat, I noticed there were some things... That he originally didn't send in the pictures so mike if you're watching this man thank you for the extras you threw man i appreciate it all right console wise we've got original xbox ps2 slim uh n64 gamecube a wii and then uh, this uh like portable not portable this like genesis all-in-one type thing these are pretty cool what is it classic classic genesis i don't think there's accessories for all of them and power cords uh I think the Xbox has power. Let's see. Don't know if it has the AV cable or not. Let me see here. Actually, no. That's for the 360. Okay, so I don't think the Xbox has the AV. It's no big deal. Um, the Wii looks like it has the power cord. It's got the motion sensor. Don't see. An AV cable for the Wii, but I might have an extra one laying around. Uh, let's see, the PS2, we've got an AV cable, we got a con two controllers, no power, I don't think. Uh, the GameCube, we've got the power, we got a controller, don't think we have an AV for that one. Um, not a big deal, I mean, I'm getting this stuff cheap enough that, you know, some of it I might sell as parts or I can just buy the extra pieces I need. He threw this in. He said it didn't have the back to it. We can just sell it as is. It looks like it's got a Pokemon game in there too, so that's cool. We've got Mario Kart Wii. Doesn't look to be too scratched up. This is a good game. Castlevania 3 for NES. Uh, game Genie for Super Nintendo with the box. And a couple of iPods. I think I'll make some good money on that stuff. I'm really happy with it. Mike, thank you for the deal, and I'm looking forward to doing business with you again. All right, time to ship out some eBay orders. I've got eight things to ship out today. Sold some pogs back here behind these boxes. I got these at a garage sale a couple months ago. I got a whole big box of them for like five bucks and I've already sold a number of them. What I did is I've been selling them in lots of two for $11.99 free shipping. And I sold two different lots each for $11.99 free shipping. Next is down here an F5. 
It is something I pulled out of the storage units that I recently bought. Just a really cool brass letter holder. It has B and H on the bottom. I guess that's the maker. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, next is right here. This is one of the cars that I just bought in that big buy that I drove up to Cleveland for. This is a model of a 1955 Ford Fairline. It's sold for $24.99 plus shipping. How's it going? It's a viewer named Adrian. Adrian, thank you so much for the business. I really hope you like this car. Okay, next is back here an F1. All right, these are some spark plugs. I got these over a year ago for around like a quarter each. And you know, I've just been slowly selling them over time. I had these in lots of two and somebody bought four lots of two. So let's make sure we got eight of these. Uh, there's only seven in that bag, but I think I've got more right here. There we go, there's eight. These eight sold for $39.96 free shipping. Okay, next is over here in C2. This is a vintage Kodak lens hood and adapter ring. This is part of a huge camera buy I made three or four months ago, so I don't think I have much into this. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, next we're going down here to C6. <laughs> and it's really funny that these just sold because when Pete the Craigslist Hunter was in here just three days ago, we were goofing around, shooting a funny clip, and he opened that bin up and pulled these out and he said, Vicky's gonna love these. And lo and behold, two days later, they sold. I've had these listed for months and they didn't sell, but Pete touches them and they sell right away. Uh, these three little dolls sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Pete, thank you for the sale. Correction, these were free shipping. It's Friday morning, I just got back from garage sales. I've got about 10 eBay orders to ship out. First is an E1, I've actually got a number of things out of here. So we're just gonna pull the whole bin. First is a Pokemon game. This guy right here. Just picked this up yesterday and I bulk a lot of video game stuff. Probably only got a few dollars into it. This sold for $24.99 free shipping. And that same bin is Mario Kart Wii. This was also in that same buy. Uh, this sold for $27.99 free shipping. Also in that buy is this Castlevania 3 game. This came with the manual and a sleeve. This sold for $37.99 free shipping sold a Game Boy out of that lot, and it actually worked. It did not have the battery cover, but worked pretty well. The volume was good, the color and everything was good on it. This sold for $39.99 free shipping. This uh, PlayStation DualShock 3 controller was in that same lot. This sold for $23.99 free shipping. And I think that's it from this bin. Just these pieces right here, I pretty much made my money back on that buy, so anything else I sell from it is just gonna be pure profit. Sold a bumper sticker. I've only got a few pennies into this. It sold for $9.99, free shipping. Okay, next is over here in E7. I sold one of these cars. I had to get creative with how I'm storing these things. I didn't just want to throw them in bins and let them get knocked around and damaged and everything. So I've just got them in these like long skinny totes. That way I can kind of get a lot and I'm not having to stack them on top of each other, but it still kind of works as storage. Here's the one I sold. This is a Dodge Charger Daytona. This was in that big lot of cars I just drove up to Cleveland for. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is here in my office. It is a bobblehead. Didn't want to put this in a bin and let it get knocked around and damaged and everything. Uh, I also got this up in Cleveland with all that stuff. And this sold for $29.99 free shipping. It is a bobblehead for the Mahoning Valley uh, minor league baseball team. Next is down here in A5. This is an old Norton antivirus. I thought this would be worth more. I'm selling it for my mother-in-law. It's new in the plastic. Uh, it sold for $9.99, free shipping. This is going to ask if you're named Joe. Joe, thank you so much for the support. And Joe also has a YouTube channel called The Trash Bandit. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, a couple more cars that sold. I sold one back here in C8. It is this purple one or pink or whichever color it is, I guess. Kind of a purple pink. This is a 1970 Dodge Challenger. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in B8. It's a truck. This is a 1948 Ford. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Got some viewer mail I want to open. Uh, first is from P. Curry. All right, we got a letter with it. My wife and I enjoy watching your videos. If you ever need a contact near Augusta, West Virginia, please let us know. Paul and Diana Curry. eBay store is Panned D Store. No way. Oh my gosh, this is killer. Look at this thing. It's like a stainless steel tumbler. 
Or is it glass? Is it glass with like stainless steel around the edge? I guess it is glass, but it feels like stainless steel. That is so cool, guys. Thank you so much. If you guys want to check out Paul and Diana's eBay store, I'll put a link down below in the description. I'm going to be using that tonight. That's cool. Okay, next is from Chad Milliman. Hi, John. I was out at a garage show with my wife and saw this ticket and thought you might like it. I hope you have a place for it in your collection. Just a small thank you since you've been a huge inspiration for me and my eBay store, Chad Milliman. Wow. Final game at Synergy Field, 2002. That's before they opened up Great American Ballpark. That is really cool. I do not have one of these, so this will definitely go in my collection. Thank you, Chad. Chad has an eBay store too called C Milliman 512 I'll put a link down below in the description for that one as well. Before I end this video, I've got a couple viewer questions I want to answer. I got two about shipping labels, so I'm going to answer both of those. First is from Keith Mueller. I've uh, been watching you and others decided to give eBay selling a shot. Listed my first item this morning, sold just hours later. Congrats on that. Question is, how do you set up to print shipping labels at home. So I'm gonna piggyback that question with this next one because it's also about shipping labels. This is from Dylan. Uh, how much has your shipping label printer helped you? I've been thinking about getting one for a while now, but they're pretty expensive. I know I could just use my regular printer, but that still would involve me cutting and taping the label to the packages. I'm currently doing it the hard way and guessing on shipping and then taking it to the post office, waiting in line, sometimes losing money if I guess wrong. Don't Not charging enough for shipping and it eats into the profit. Okay, so first of all, don't ever go into the post office and pay retail. Don't pay Don't pay for the postage at the post office. Absolutely buy it on your computer, whether you do it through eBay, uh, whether you go into your orders and then click print shipping label and do it that way, you'll get a big discount that way. Or if you go to Pirate Ship and then you import your orders into Pirate Ship, that's P-I-R-A-T-E-S-H-I-P.com. I'll put a link down below. So either buy your labels on eBay or buy your labels on Pirate Ship. You'll save at least 20% roughly on every package. So definitely make sure you're at least buying the labels online. As far as printing the labels out, when I was first doing it, I just had an old school, you know, an old printer and I'd print it out on a piece of paper and I'd cut it and I'd tape it and, you know, it takes a long time and it's a pain in the neck. And eventually I switched over to sticky labels on a big printer, you know, the you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet and you have two big labels on there. And that was expensive too, because I was using toner. I think an inkjet printer at that time. And then I switched from there, I progressed onto a laser printer and that was a little bit cheaper. And then eventually I just broke down and got a Dymo. So this is a Dymo 4XL. It prints four inch by six inch labels. I've had this now for well over a year. It is a thermal printer, so it doesn't take ink or toner or none of that. It's not cheap. Um, these are gonna run you about $200, a little bit more, depending on where you find them. But it definitely pays for itself. This thing just spits out labels in a couple seconds versus like, you know, almost a minute with some of the other printers that I've used. And you're not gonna spend any money on toner. So I think it's a worthwhile investment. I highly recommend getting some kind of label printer like this. If you guys don't have any kind of label printer right now, I'll put a link down below in the description for the Dymo label printer that I use. All right, next is from DJ1698. How many hours do you generally yard sale for on the weekends? So I go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday and Friday, I usually start around 7.30 or so and I'm done by like 12. Uh, on Saturday, I like having a little bit more time with the family. So I'll go maybe around 7.30 or 8 and then I like to be back around 11. But lately, the whole family's been going, so that's been fun. Usually, we'll go for three or four hours. Once it gets, like, super hot outside, it's really hard to take the kids for too long. Plus, usually by, like, 11 o'clock anyways, most of the good stuff's gone. So, I usually go three or four hours at a time when I go out. All right, since it is the end of the week, I'm going to update you guys on where I'm at with my momentum board. Current listings are at 376 uh, On Monday, I listed six items for $118. Tuesday, I didn't list anything because I traveled up to Cleveland for that big buy. Wednesday, I listed 7 for 375 Thursday, I listed 24 for 646 And today, I listed 26 for 750 Last week, I listed a ton of stuff. I had 93 items for $28.94. This week, not quite as much. 63 items for $18.89. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.